How's it cooking, good looking? My name is Amalie and today we are making the healthiest, easiest chocolate cake in the world. This healthy chocolate cake has zero sugar and zero gluten and it takes under an hour to make. We are gonna start this recipe with mixing all our dry ingredients. I have 200 grams of almond flour. If you can't find almond flour in your store, you just buy almonds and you blend them up. I'm gonna add one deciliter of cacao powder. This is raw cacao powder. This has no sugar. It's like 100% cacao. I'm adding a tablespoon of baking powder, pinch of salt, like that. And optional, you can add a teaspoon of cinnamon. I add it almost to anything, whether it's a tomato soup or a dessert recipe, I love cinnamon. And now I'm just gonna stir this together making sure that it's all well combined. And now I'm gonna bring out the blender. In the blender, I'm gonna add 200 grams of pitted dates, which basically means that there are no pits inside them. I'm also gonna add in my bananas. The more ripe they are, the better, because that adds more sweetness to your recipe. Let's go. So of course my blender doesn't work and I know I'm gonna buy a new one. But I'm gonna add in my vanilla extract. This is just to add all the juices in now, because that is the beauty. If you wanna make a successful dough here, just put more liquid in your blender and it will all work out. And then we go again. And now it blends very, very nice. I have a confession to make, we just had a minor explosion in the kitchen and I swapped out my blender to some blender that I know works. I just thought the other one would be more powerful. That was not the case. Now this is all sticky. As you can see, that's exactly what we want. So we are gonna fold in the dough and the dry ingredients together. So now we are just gonna mix and fold and mix and fold. And this is gonna be an even, kinda dry consistency once we're done. What is so interesting about this chocolate cake is that you actually don't get to taste the banana in this. It's just, I don't know what it is, but it's like the chocolate flavor is so punchy and it tastes like an ordinary, super unhealthy chocolate cake, which is amazing. So just to make sure that nothing sticks, I'm gonna coat this sheet in oil. And I'm using my coconut oil. It's a nice oil to use, so of course, it doesn't have any flavors either. All we need to do is to apply our dough in a mold. It's ready. I preheated my oven to 180 degrees, and this is gonna sit in there for like 25 to 30 minutes. See you in 25 minutes. Guys, she's ready. I took it out of the oven. It has been sitting now for 20 minutes and it is so beautiful. It's dense, but it's still kind of fluffy, which is perfect. Mmm, look at that, guys. That is some delicious cake. You know what's amazing about this? It is that I can eat this with good conscience. There's nothing bad in this one. <laughs> Honestly, guys, only because I know it's healthy, I know it's a healthy cake. If I just had this served without knowing it, I would enjoy it as a completely normal piece of chocolate cake. Mm. Guys, thank you for watching. If this video made you hungry, please leave it a like. If it made you drool, subscribe to my channel. Then I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Bye! Thank you.